Hello, we are in Zilexpo 2024 J2 and with Pietro in the SCM booth. Uh, Hello, congratulations on the new position as the director of SCM Wood Division. Thank you very much, Aprotim. It's a great uh, honor to take the leadership of the Wood Division. Um, after a few years, I've been working with this company. Um, I feel, of course, uh, honored and also privileged to have the possibility to work with this company and with the team that is surrounding me here in uh, Xil Expo. So, great opportunity and I will put all, of course, all my best effort uh, and my competencies to serve this company. Correct. So coming back to Zilexpo, what specially you are focusing in Zilexpo this year? So Zilexpo for us is, um, the presence of Zilexpo of SCM is a strategic decision for us, okay? So, uh, of course, uh, we know very well how to do uh, fairs, if you wish, in a traditional way, okay? We decide, decided in 2024 to be present here, uh, but with a completely different and innovative uh, uh, platform for communicating to our customers. It's a completely uh, multimedia platform, as you can see, uh, where uh, we focus uh, um, basically the uh, communication to our customer in a completely different way. And we do it because we feel the need for change like the leaders do. So as we feel ourselves as a leader of this industry and because of that we decided to change the way we communicate to our, to our customers. So what you find in this booth, yes, technologies. Technologies are indeed present here uh, and they are displayed uh, within the uh, supporting tools that we have here in the booth. But on top of that, there is something. SCM is more, like our claim says, uh, uh, globally. And what is more? More is, first of all, uh, digitalization and sustainability. These two things uh, are very well displayed uh, in this booth um, uh, and they are very much interconnected between themselves. So we tend to read the digitalization not as a standalone concept, but deployed into a sustainability concept. Why is that? Because basically today we have the possibility to move uh, thanks to the digital control room that you see here and thanks to the large number of uh, connected machines through our Maestro Connect IoT platform, we can get uh, uh, more and more information coming from the machines. Thanks to those information which are coming from the machines, we can basically move from a reactive approach when customers have a, has a problem, we react to that. We now move into a more proactive approach so we basically address the customer in the moments where he is in an area of risk about the uh, production of his products. And thanks to that, we basically reduce not only the downtime of the machines, if any, but we also can improve the level of production in terms of consumption, waste. So uh, here you can see where the, again, digitalization connects really well with the sustainability concept. So that's the first element you see here. The second element you see here is software. Software is becoming more and more important in our uh, commercial offer to our customers. We're talking about uh, vertical softwares, about single technologies, but also horizontal softwares. For example, the MES, which again goes in the direction of improving the uh, productivity and reducing the waste and the consumption for our customers. And then third, which I'm very proud of, we move the communication also about technology from the concept of the standalone machine into the concept of pro presenting and discussing a process with our customers and consulting with the customers about, about the full process uh, that they run in their factories. So we believe that uh, thanks to that, uh, we, we, leading, we are leading in a way a change uh, in the model of communicating to the customers and we are very proudly presenting here in Slexpo. Correct. Uh, Pietro, regarding the investment, what are the primary areas of focus for SCM in the coming years? Yeah, so of course when it comes to production, we keep investing in our efficiency for our production lines. So we want to continue modernizing and digitalizing our production lines. That is paramount if you want to be competitive in order to serve, serve our customers in a competitive way. But also, so we want to invest, as I said, in servitization. So we will continue investing in our ability to provide um, 
let me say, um, outstanding services to our customers to make sure that uh, not only we consult and support our customers when we sell the machine, but we also support the customers throughout uh, his lifetime, the lifetime of that machine, and potentially the lifetime on, of his uh, or her uh, business, okay? So we will continue investing into that. Um, third, we will invest a lot in one specific segment, which is the timber construction. Timber construction has been over the last uh, uh, five to seven years has been a very important segment in the wood uh, in the woodworking segment. Uh, we have been creating uh, and enlarging our offer uh, in that segment with our Oikos machines. Uh, and area machines. We have recently launched an Oiko 6 model which again goes into that direction. We have launched uh, a partnership with Randek, uh, the Swedish company focused and leading the timber frame uh, business. We will continue investing into that in, in terms of product, software, very important, and services. Uh, so that's definitely a third area of investment, which is not the, 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 less, the least important, is people, of course. We we'll need to continue to invest on people. And when I say people, I mean our teams need to be equipped with the competencies on processes, on products, and also services and soft skills. We will continue investing into that. Uh, you know we have uh, a dedicated asset within our company, which is called Campus. Uh, campus has turned five just a few months ago. Uh, that's a strategic investment for our company and we continue investing into that. So in a nutshell, those are the most important uh, uh, areas of the investment that I would mention. Uh, my last question would be, is SCM uh, planning to open a new subsidiary in the future? And which part if it is, yes? For the moment, uh, we are not planning to open new subsidiaries. We have been opening subsidiaries uh, as you know, in India, in Vietnam, in uh, Slovenia recently, we have enlarged significantly our uh, presence in some uh, key strategic markets like Germany, uh, Spain. Uh, just a few days ago, we have launched uh, a new technology center in uh, Australia, in Sydney. So we have been uh, opening uh, several, uh, let me say, uh, new and enlarged tech centers. Just a few days ago, we have also launched a dedicated uh, technology center uh, here in Milan, very close to Milan, in uh, our uh, factory, uh, superficie factory, where we have now combined the offer of the uh, surface treatment together with all the most uh, traditional, if you wish, technology of the SCM group. So we have done that in order to serve and uh, yeah, to serve the customers of a. Uh, a very important area of Italy, where there is one of the most important uh, manufacturing uh, district for furniture in the world. Thank you, Pietro. Thank you for your talking to Wooden Panel. Thank you very much, Abhijit.